Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Bucket. In this video, we're going to show you how we can add ASD Catalyst Store into Commvault 11.36. Before we go start, let me show you under the store ones data services i have created a catalyst store i named it store ones vsa store one and here i make the necessary permissions to access this location so let me log into the commvault as you can see this is my commvault console under the storage as you can see i don't have any options to add the catalyst library so these options is by default disabled on 11.36 what do we need to do we need to enable the feature of hp catalyst library so that we can integrate the store on catalyst store from here so let me show you how we can add it so we need to go to manage and then from there we need to go system and from system we need to go for settings and here we have to click on add and then console settings here we will have to provide a name which we want to add so this is going to be active activate hp catalyst too. so i am Searching this active HPE catalyst. As you can see, we have these options which we call HP store on storage. So I'm clicking here and be remember that default value here is showing false. That's why we cannot see it into the storages. So what we will need to do, we will make this as true and the book type will be Boolean and then the category will be comserdb.gx global panel seems all good and we need to click on enable and here we will have to need a uh, habit and just comment so i am commenting it like enable hp catalyst store and then I'll click save. So it's asking, are you sure you want to add the setting value? I'm clicking yes. So after adding it under the global, then we will have to go to entity. And here, as you can see, we have these options um, HP store on storage. And here, as you can see, the status on default is disabled. So we need to click on enable and then save it. Okay, so after uh, adding that feature, uh, I uh, rebooted the com serve server. And now we will have to go to storage, then go to cloud, and then click on add. From here, drop down to the HP catalyst storage then give a name so I will copy the name from the um, store so that I can um, make the same name of my catalyst store and the uh, and the storage volume name on the combo server be same And media isn't, I'll choose the combo server itself and store on host. I will name it and um, provide the IP address of my uh, store on um, backup interface and store. I will name it this store name and I will use the username and the password to access the store on. Uh, get to this door then click on save okay 
so the store of scatter list store added here as you can see we can see the uh, store on scatter list store and if we go here um, we can see on media agent is tagged with this scatter uh, list store and the configuration and backup location all things we can can see that this combold server itself has the storage retry permissions for these uh, uh, store works and the status is showing ready now let's do one thing let's have a uh, backup to this uh, catalyst store so that we can be ensured that yes we are able to uh, take the backup to the sp store on um, catalyst store so let me see if i have a file system client yes i have a file system client let me add a sub client i will name it um, Catalyst test next, and I'll choose the file system file and click next. So, the content I will add a content from my file system client. Let me see. Okay, I'll choose this restore folder, then click save. Okay, click next. Oh, I need to I need to make a um uh, backup plan with the catalyst store before I proceed um, because into my file system plan I don't have uh, the catalyst store so it's associated with a local disk copy so I, I will do that let me get back to the uh, storage bar and plans and here I will make a new plan server backup next destination primary and choose SP store ons and retention i will make one week click save and then click next so i will not use incremental i will uh, not use this one also so i will not schedule here i'll click submit So we have this SP Catalyst plan. We will use this plan as this plan will uh, take the backup data to my SP store ons. So let's get back to uh, my uh, clients again. So we'll go protect, then file servers, this file system client. I will make a new sub client and I will name it. Uh, get a list test click next i choose the sp catalyst backup plan and then click next i will browse and add the content from c drive i have a folder called restore click save Click 
next submit okay so let me back up as a form submit so here as you can see <coughs> we don't have any user data now right now so as the backup is completed we will see here we will have some uh, user data let me get back to here and from jobs we can see what's going on there or we can go to global jobs and here we can see it's already 25 percent and if we click over here the job id then we'll get the details what's going on into the background let's wait for a few seconds okay 41 percent okay 50 percent 98 percent okay so the backup job has been completed successfully as you can see it's completed now let's get back to the students console here as you can see we have 246 mb user data which has been backed up from a client system to the st students so that's how we can integrate the st storons catalyst store into combold backup server and we can back up the client so thank you very much for watching if you want more videos like this keep subscribe to our channel have a nice time bye bye